Have you ever pondered the source of creativity and innovation? Where do these sparks of genius come from? And how can we tap into this wellspring of originality? Once upon a time, in the bustling city of San Francisco, a small startup named Innovative Minds was struggling to make its mark. It was led by a visionary woman, Jane Doe, who believed in the power of creativity and innovation. Jane was no ordinary entrepreneur. She held a firm belief that every problem, no matter how big or small, held within it the seed of its own solution. But to find that seed, one needed to think differently, to think creatively. Jane and her team were working on developing an eco-friendly, cost-effective solution for waste management. The challenge was daunting. The market was saturated with products that were either too expensive or not effective enough. But Jane was not deterred. She believed the solution was not to be found in the conventional wisdom of the industry, but rather in the untapped potential of creative thinking. So, Jane turned to her team and asked them to forget everything they knew about waste management. She asked them to think of waste not as a problem, but as a resource. She encouraged them to look at other industries, other materials, and even nature itself for inspiration. And so they did. They explored, they questioned, they experimented, and after months of tireless work, they finally stumbled upon an idea. An idea so simple yet so revolutionary that it transformed the waste management industry forever. They discovered a way to convert waste into a type of biofuel, not only solving the waste problem, but also providing an affordable source of energy. This story of Jane Doe and innovative minds is a testament to what can be achieved when we unshackle our minds and let our creativity flow freely. There are several takeaways from this tale of creativity and innovation. First, creativity is not a divine gift bestowed upon a lucky few. It is a skill, one that can be nurtured and developed. It requires us to question the status quo, to look at things from a different perspective, and to be open to new ideas. Second, innovation is not just about creating something new. It's about adding value, solving a problem, or meeting a need in a way that hasn't been done before. It demands a deep understanding of the problem at hand and a willingness to explore unconventional solutions. Lastly, unleashing creativity for innovation requires courage. It requires us to take risks, to make mistakes, and to learn from them. It requires us to push the boundaries of what is possible and to venture into the unknown. In the end, the key to unlocking creativity for innovation lies within us all. It's about looking at the world with a curious mind and an open heart. It's about daring to dream, to explore, and to create. And who knows? The next innovative idea might just be lurking around the corner waiting for you to discover it.